Well, it certainly feels like playoff weather. Cold, damp, windy. It must mean it's about time for the Section 4 playoffs. But don't get too ahead of ourselves quite yet. There's still another week of the regular season for everybody except for Class D. So we start to see some of the playoff matchups starting this week, though, as we see a matchup that could be a Class playoff B playoff preview as Johnson City and Norwich take on each other this afternoon. Taking a look at the highlights, both teams at the top of their respective divisions, but something would have to give. Third quarter, Johnson City up 12-6. Tack on six more on the board for the Wildcats. Anthony Johns from five yards out makes it 18-6. But Norwich comes back. QB Seth Thompson finding Patrick Taylor down the field. 22-yard gain. Nice catch right there. But later in the drive, Thompson going through the air again. This time he finds the wrong color jersey. This time it's JC's Ricky Ballas picking it off, returning it for the interception. But wait, a flag down on the field for roughing the passer. Give it back to the Purple Tornadoes and they cap off the drive with this TD run by Grant Brightman. Cutting it to an 18-12 Johnson City lead, but the Wildcats able to hold on. Your final 24-12 Johnson City. Now to another marquee matchup over to Maine and well where the Spartans taking on Class 2A Corning pick it up in the fourth tied at eight the Spartans driving but Kyle Gallagher's pass picked off by Corning returning it deep into Maine and well territory the ensuing drive it's Matt Cardino with a huge stop for the Spartans able to stop Corning at the goal line Emmy takes off over on their own half yard line remember that because next play Luis Uceta, the human highlight reel, 97-yard run, marked down all the way inside the one-yard line. He couldn't quite get in, but there, Darnell Wolfall Kent puts it in for the score. Spartans take the go-ahead lead there, and they go on to win 16 to 8. Your final main end well winners. Now heading back up east and a little bit to the north, we find Shenango Forks hosting Unitigo. A defensive battle in the first half. Forks driving fourth and goal from the five, but Zach Jeske marked down just short of the goal line by Slew Spartans stays 0-0. Next drive, Unitigo able to get off the goal line, then Tyler Butler with a big run, but the Spartans stopped eventually, and they turn it over on downs. As I said, defensive battle at Shenango Forks. That's where there's some trouble for Forks, though. On the next drive, snap goes over punter Kevin Patwell's head for the safety. 2-0 Spartans at that point, and they go on to win. Big upset win for Unitigo. 20-0. They shut out the Blue Devils. And there's more. If you needed more high school football, we got it. Down south, Susquehanna Valley hosting Vestal. 13-6. The Golden Bears are up, but trouble with the snap. Fumble recovered by Anthony Anthony Del Volano, the big guy, falls on it. Then Susquehanna taking over. Laurent Doerr carrying Golden Bears down inside the 20-yard line for the Sabres, and then they're able to capitalize. Vince LaMancia, play action, rolling out. He finds the quarterback's best friend. The tight end, Tyler Fish in the end zone for the touchdown. The extra point ties it at 13, and Susquehanna Valley going on to win by one, 28-27 in an nail-biter. Now taking a quick look around the rest of Section 4 from this afternoon. Shenango Valley, 47-0 shutout win over Windsor. Binghamton, big winners over Horsehead, 48-zip. Waverly taking care of Newark Valley, 35-6. And Seton beating up on Edison, 58-7. Now it's time for some nightly honors. Time for our play of the night in case... You missed it. We call it maybe the play of the day. How about a series of the day? Luis, you set of the 97 yard run for Maine and well, and that would eventually set up Darnell Woolfork's go ahead score Maine and well with the big win over Corning at home. They also take home our play of the night. Now, what you've really been waiting for, the hit of the night, kind of like the dessert for the day of high school football. And there's nothing, but there's nothing sweet about this hit. Ricky Ballas, he gets leveled by Norwich. That's going to hurt Corey Bradbury with the big hit for Norwich. Number seven, he takes home our hit of the night for Norwich.